Come up close. Uh, lend me your ears uh, and uh, and your attention for just a moment. I want to uh, go do a news flash here uh, that both uh, Barack Hussein, the long legged Mac Daniel Obama, uh, and Joe Biden, my time Biden, and Camelback ain't Black Harris, and Tribulation Trump. They're all satanic. Get this straight. Donald John Trump, who got his name Tribulation Trump, is no, he's no Christian. He's, he's no servant of God. He's being used as the modern-day Judas of the Tribulation. I mean, for you to support Donald John Trump uh, and to pray for him or to give money to him will be like you supporting Judas. You become a disciple of Judas. Now, I know those of you who are supporters of Trump don't like that. You, you don't want to hear it. And you're, you're at the brink now or oh, turning me off because you think somehow or another that he's with God. no. He may have walked with God and Jesus the way Judas walked with him, but he is the he is the trigger of the tribulation, Donald John Trump. And the other thing is that you need to be you need to reconcile this with yourself. You need to reconcile this. You need to understand that when I told you that that Barack Hussein, the long legged Mac Daddy Obama, was the son of Satan, you jumped up and down and started talking in tongues. Some of y'all were break dancing. You know, or you're doing the do si do. You were so happy to hear that. And you believe that. And you believe it even now. But somehow or another, you think, because this man's got orange hair that he's got spread all over the ball spot. He got more ball spots on his hair than I got on my butt. And he spreads that hair around and then wires it down with hairspray. You think that somehow or another, because he got that gold hair, that he ain't like Obama. And you need to get why you need you know better. You're just in a state of delusion. You know better. You know he ain't no better. And you know Biden ain't no better than Obama. You know, you know, you need all of us, sir. All of us, all of us servants will say, you know that, you know that. Bill Barr, the acting attorney general, on yesterday issued a statement to uh, the Associated Press that as the attorney general for the nation of America that he and his FBI and Department of Justice have found no irregularities in the voting that took place on November 3rd on any scale that would have different that would have brought a different outcome. In other words, there's no fraud. This is from the mouth of the Attorney General who says there is no fraud. Now Christopher Krebs who was Homeland Security, cybersecurity chief, also said two weeks ago that this was the safest election in the history of America, that there was no fraud. Trump fired him for saying that. Yesterday on a talk radio show, uh, attorney DeGeneva, who used to be a reputable person, Washington attorney, said that because the, the head of Homeland Security, Cyber Force, said that the, that the election was the safest ever. Said that it, this attorney, the Jennifer, who now works for, for, for Giuliani and Trump, said that this, this, this public official ought to be taken out at dawn and shot. It seems to me like he's probably going to end up in jail or losing his law license for having said that. This ain't over with yet. And, and a, a Georgia state secretary of state representative said yesterday in the, in the Georgia state house, and he spoke to Trump and said, you need to stop this. Stop it. There is no fraud. Somebody's going to get killed. Somebody's going to get hurt. Stop this. The elections in Georgia were fair. We all Republican, but stop this. You, somebody's going to get killed. Somebody's going to And then he said to the sycophants, that are supporting Trump, that are aiding him. 
He said, y'all are just as guilty by not speaking out against this man tearing down our democratic system and, and tearing down the integrity of the vote in America. This is a Republican talking to Trump from a microphone in the state capital of Georgia yesterday. And they're all right. They're all devils. They're all devils. My concern is this, is that I played a segment the other day where Joe Biden was out there talking about the Psalms. I think he's talking about Psalms 83, and they called it Palms. And with the help of God, heal. And if we do, and I'm sure we can, we can proclaim the palmist with the palmist who wrote these following words. Like this. I don't know if that's some kind of new Catholic way of speaking. I think what he was trying to say was Psalms. But he's so biblically ignorant. Even a first-year-old, one-year-old Naomi Hamlin here in the church would know is Psalms, not Palms. That's what he said, Palms. But you remember, going back four years ago, Tribulation Trump down at Liberty University talking about trying to talk about 2 Corinthians, called it 2 Corinthians. You know that boy ain't been to the church because everybody knows this 2 Corinthians, 2 Timothy, 2 Thessalonians. Everybody knows this 2 is not 2. Everybody knows that boy ain't been to church. And everybody laughs. And then Trump goes over to the, during the, the Black Lives riot and massacres that they were doing out in Washington, goes over to the St. John's Church and holds the Bible upside down. They're all devils. Let me say something to you that, you know, you, you, many of you believed in me when I talked about Obama. What, there's nothing different about me now. I'm still the Lord's servant. There is no way. Have you ever seen anywhere in the Bible where a prophet goes from speaking God's word clearly to the, to the masses, and all of a sudden turns around and speaks against God. You've never seen that. Not even Balaam, a Balak in the book of Numbers. It's impossible for me to have been as clear about Obama, though many ham out that is black people, African-American Negroes, didn't understand me, didn't see it, they just didn't know what I was talking about. But you understood me. You knew, many of you. I was right about Obama. You also saw Obama never opened his mouth in any regard that looked like he was going to do anything for black people. They never said anything at all. You don't have to be no prophet, no messenger of God. You could be a local drunk. On Mad Dog 2020 or Orange Rock Wine. And know that Obama in his whole campaign never indicated at one time that he had any affection for anybody, black, African American, or Negro. That wasn't the reason why he was running for president. He was pipping the people, he was pipping those people to get there, but he didn't even make any promises that he lied about. He wouldn't even lie to them. You saw that. I saw it. You saw me see it. Why do you think I'm that somehow or another? That Trump is different. Is it because I endorsed Trump? You said, well, you got hoodwinked. No, I, I endorsed him because Trump was a birther. At least I thought he was when I discovered he wasn't. I endorsed my own statements regarding Obama because I wanted Trump to go and be a mouthpiece on behalf of my, on my own, like other people want Trump to represent them as far as the market is concerned or taxes or whatever. I wanted him to represent me on this Obama thing because I, I gave my life to that lost congregation. I spent the last 12 years hated by all of Africa and all black people. And if I go find somebody who can get that high up and a megaphone that big that's going to point out that Obama was indeed a frog, and I'm going to support that. When I found out he wasn't going to support it, I dropped him like a hot potato. That's all there is to that. That's all there is to that. He lied. He lied to me. He lied to you. This is a bit of a news blog we do looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or
or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon, uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be like led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.